So today what we're working on is we're making a advanced filter system for my gray water that I collect at the cabin. So we're going to use a five gallon bucket, a bunch of plastic scrubbers, and you need some ABS glue, you need some three inch ABS pipe. This is a coupler. You're going to need a hole saw, three inches, has to match the pipe. So here's my, my piece of wood. I cut the hole in. This is my spacer. It's essentially uh, one of those road hazard bases. It's made of solid rubber. And then underneath, there's my hole. Some three inch ABS. And it goes out to the other side. Now it's sitting on the rubber spacer. Three inch ABS coming out the bottom. Okay, this is a three inch on the top and a two inch here. So my thoughts were I'm gonna put this here. So down the road, if I want to add another drain to this for maybe a water system in the house or in the cabin, it's doable. So I got options. This on the bottom like that. And then I got a pipe down the hole and it's gonna go on here. Got it all together. There's a two inch on the end there. There's the three inch coming out from the platform. And there it is, goes underneath. Not my best gluing job. I haven't done this for a while. I'm not a plumber by any means. This should normally be done by an expert, but I don't have a plumber nearby. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put some rocks around here, around the base, and then I'm going to put uh, some my uh, pot scrubbers around in here. i put my screen and then put a lid on it, my uh, high-tech filter system, and that fits nicely right in there like that. I'm going to put some rocks, some heavier rocks around the top of this to keep these weighted down. So here's the lid, and what I did is little plastic part on top I just cut it off and if I pressed the inch and a half ABS in there it just sits in there nice and tight so I'm gonna put this on now lid is now on it's going in there now I just dry fit it for now see how things go and then later on I'll wrap more of this insulation around here going down in keep things warm a little bit so okay there's the drain that I put in yesterday I buried it underneath the cabin so what I'm gonna do now is right here I'm gonna put one blue five gallon bucket full of rocks in a three inch hole and then I'm gonna put another blue five gallon right here full of rocks and I'm now gonna cover it with a fine meshy screen it was actually from our old uh, water trampoline all right 
got gravel in. I wish I had more gravel, but I don't have it handy. And the buckets are covered. Now I'm gonna throw all the soil in and then, then it's done. All right, I got everything covered up. So this is where the trench used to be, along here. And then it went down, out and underneath the cabin, about where that rock is, that's where the end of the trench was. So got it all filled in now. Are you ready for the winter time? Thanks for uh, your patience. 